Okay, that was a little weird. I wanted to start recording and it said there was no room on the memory card, like zero zero, even though I've just formatted it. So, I wasn't going to do this run. Today is week 12 and it's a six kilometre easy run. But for upcoming videos in the future, I was uh, saying that I wasn't going to do this run or the gym session today because of the push-up challenge and I ended up doing my push-ups for the day they went really well and it's like, oh yeah I've started the day with a bit of a win then to be coming out and doing this now as well and it's like, as soon as I got outside I'm like well I've done my push-ups, I'm warmed up and I've been inside with the heater on come outside and it's absolutely freezing uh, and I just dove straight into the run didn't do my normal leg activations because it was just an easy run and I felt like I was warmed up enough anyway from being inside but I was wrong now it's like all those little niggles right glute right knee left ankle calf muscles the blood's trying to get through <laughs> but I'm just gonna take it easy the way I see it the push-ups are done I'm not doing my gym session today as I've got a massage with Sophie and part of what got me out here today was that you need the slow easy runs and you need them to be actually slow and it's like if I don't do this run that I'm doing effectively two back-to-back -back long uh, high intensity ones providing I do tomorrow's workout because yesterday was kilometre intervals tempo run and then today's the easy run just to keep blood going through the legs I guess and then tomorrow I've got mile repeats at another tempo run so it's like if I don't have this easy run it's probably going to stuff up a little bit not a lot but at least mentally I think it would so it's good to have that moment where you just breathe so today's a bit of a run and chat kind of run what was that kilometre? 6.07 it's a bit slow but uh, I've walked a little bit in each kilometre so far and the way I see it is 6k's I should be done in just over half an hour anyway so that car's not coming this way I'm gonna slow down for the cars they're going too slow so come on get to the road with it thank you thank you car how nice of them so effectively I'm nearly halfway through the run just goes to show how quick it goes two kilometers in I'll be at like 6k's by the time I get to Stockdale and then do the other side of this block 6k's to be back home oh 6k's and I will be back home anyway 
gonna focus on the run for a little bit. Chat soon. Bye. So as you can probably tell, I wasn't really feeling it this morning. I've been up since 5.30, just kind of dawdling around. It took a lot to keep going. Like I said before, I was just gonna cancel the run in the gym today. Go after doing the push-ups. My mentality went up and anything you can do to keep that going, the better. I think that's why you start off each day with a win. I think that's where the whole concept of when you wake up and you want to change the world, first thing you have to do is make your bed. And there's a lot to it than that. And you get to the end of that speech. And the concept is, if at the end of the day, you've had shit day, at least you can come home and there's a nice made bed for you. Which is important. Not that I make my bed very often. I'll have to make it when I get home. <laughs> I've even thought about going to church again. I want something to tell me that I've got this. Hello puppies. That all this training has been worth it. It goes on about the sacrifices you've made and effectively you have a look at it all the time with friends I could have been spending potentially anyway all the time with DG, Courtney, Chance, Roger, Maggie my whole family, even just time for myself to sit down, eat a pizza, play Diablo, <laughs> or anything, finish Final Fantasy. <laughs> That's a lot. 2.25 to go. I'll have to do one of the courts, I think. I think I will relapse into mental health problems at the end of my run after the mile. Even before it, just to because of everything. I miss a lot of things right now. And I'll need to weigh up if I don't get through this mile. Was this all worth it? Right now? Yes. I've tried my best to conquer my dreams, my goals, along with supporting others and trying to make their life happy. But we all know that didn't happen. So they make play. That sounded nice. Five twenty-seven. <laughs> that was okay. Feels so comfortable right now. That's what I needed. Just a nice smooth run. Start was a bit rugged, but <sighs> we're getting there. Stay strong, everyone. See you at the end. How did you look at that? Nice rainbow in the sky. Can't see the other end of it though. 
that's two runs this week where I've seen a rainbow. Well, this past week. Let's get a photo, hey? But there's actually a faint outline for a second rainbow. I don't know if you can see it. I wonder if that's my sign. I know that everything's going to be okay. Part of me thinks that's Jonathan. Rest in peace, Jonathan. Beautiful boy. Let's get a photo. Greetings, so that video ended rather abruptly, but I do remember having that run. And yeah, I thought it was quite interesting. I thought I better at least do a little bit of a video here to uh, end it rather than where it was. I did take a photo. Being so many moments like that where it's like I feel like I've got this run. Um, as of now, the Yu Yang Trail run is three days away. So, well, two days basically. Uh, it's the 10th of July at the moment as I'm recording this bit and I'm just playing catch up with videos as you guys know. There's not many left. So I think I'll get the last video, the last two videos done tomorrow. Ah, <sighs> so good to have had time off to recover and reminisce on all these adventures. So I'm going to leave it at that for now. You guys will get another couple of videos before I um, undergo my journey for 105 miles. So have a great night and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye bye. Where's the recording button?